<laughs> so the big talking point from the Scarlet and Violet era for the last year, I would say, is Pokemon 151. But this week specifically and the week before, there's been a lot of movement in the Pokemon 151 sealed as well as singles products. Today we're going to be looking at some of these sealed products as well as singles and seeing where the prices are and if it is worth investing in. But before we get into that, I did want to add a couple of notes. From my experience, I have noticed that there have been some 151 products available in stores, specifically at GameStop as well as Walmart, and this is in Canada that I'm speaking to. The Pokemon 151 booster bundles have been available, and this was between mid to tail end of September and early October, where I noted Pokemon 151 booster bundles available. In addition to that, I also noted Pokemon 151 UPCs available around the same time. Of course, that was at Costco, and it is no longer available at this point in Canada. I can't speak to other regions, but right now, it looks like it's all sold out across the board. One other note that I wanted to mention was when I was speaking with one of the GameStop representatives, they did scan the product and it said this product is discontinued. Now, I don't know what that means exactly. It could potentially mean that it's done and there's no more or it's just that batch of product is no longer going to be available. So again, we're not too sure if there's going to be a restock or a reprint or if there's going to be any of that at all. Now let's dive in. So the first thing we're gonna talk about are sealed products. And the number one product here that's having the biggest movement is the 151 UPC. So this one over here has had actually some substantial movement over the last few days. We're looking at $190.59 for this bad boy, uh, currently going, what it's currently going for that is, and that's up 58% over the last three months. If we just look at what's going on in the last month here, again, 41% in just the last month. And, and most of this has happened uh, over the last Last uh, few days or the last week or so where we've seen the climb starting to happen here and it, it looks like the UPC is uh, one of the number one climbing items here is because even if there's going to be a restock or a reprint whichever you want to call it the UPC is highly unlikely to be reprinted because of the contents in this actual product. It's very difficult to, I'm not gonna say it's very difficult, but you know, to reprint the metal cards and to have all this product and the box itself, it's, it's a big box, of course, that is, it, it doesn't look like that product would be reprinted. If there's going to be a reprint, it would probably be the 151 bundles or the uh, ETBs, that is, but the UPC, I highly doubt would be one of the ones, and this is probably one of the reasons why it's kind of moving this uh, price. The, the price, of course, is moving up, that is, for this specific product. Now you did have the opportunity, as I mentioned in September, to pick this one up for roughly $120 Canadian. And of course I'm talking in US prices here for this, it's 190 US. It's, it's crazy how almost it has doubled overnight and that's just how Pokemon works sometimes, unfortunately, for if you if you catch the train, it's fantastic. If you don't, uh, you don't. But right now, if you look at the price point for, for the UPC, it's going for around $190, which is really up there for this product. It's a great product. I don't know if we're gonna see further climb with this one or, or when it's gonna top off. I can see it topping off around the 200 mark. I can't see it going any further than that because there's still the talk of the restock and the reprint happening, of course. Um, so 190 is currently what the UPC is going for. Uh, really a crazy price in my opinion for, for, for this one over here, but that's what the price is. And in, in my honest opinion, I'd, I'd watch this a little bit further to see what happens with it. Uh, and I don't think it's a good time to be buying this product right now. I know that sounds crazy I'm saying that, but I think uh, right now that this is a little bit up there in price and I would kind of watch it for a little bit before making any movement with it. One thing I did want to talk about quickly before moving on is the difference between a restock and a reprint. So with a restock, usually what happens is, is distributors have some product that's left over and what they do is they offload that product to other stores before uh, getting a new product because they have too much stock of a specific item. Whereas a reprint is when the company actually goes and reprints uh, the set itself and then redistributes it to distributors and then distributors sell the product. Moving on here, so next up is the 151 Booster Bundle. This one hasn't had too much effect with what has happened over the last uh, couple weeks or so. This one is still steady around that $48 mark over the last three months. So it's still a, a, a decent buy that is for a pack of six uh, cards. As I did mention earlier in the video, this was available uh, at most retailers such as Walmart and GameStop, and that's in Canada that is. So you could have picked this one up in the last month for around that price. There doesn't seem to be availability of it right now as I have gone to a few shops and I haven't seen it anymore. So uh, this one is going currently for $48. Not too much movement, hasn't really been affected by uh, the uh, recent pump up of these 151 products that is. And I think one of the reasons being is because this one may be one of the products that will get the reprint. 
uh, rather than the UPC, of course. And of course, we have the 151 ETB. This one comes with, of course, the nine booster packs. And this one is steadily growing as well. We're at $88. We're up about 30% in the last three months. And I also think that this one would get a reprint if there is going to be one. So we are still seeing steady movement with this one, but not anything crazy like with what happened with the UPC, that is. So again, the ETB for 151 is currently going for $88 US, up about 30% in the last three months. So now we're gonna dive into the singles, starting off with this banger card, the Charizard EX, the chase card from 151, this special illustration rare. Not my favorite card per se, but it needs to be talked about, of course. This one over here has had 72% in growth over the last three months. It's it's insane. It's uh, 70. 72% is crazy, and most of this actually has happened over the last few days, over the last week or so, where we've seen the big pump up. We have seen a little bit of a decline, of course. We've gone down to about the $200 mark, so still up 60%. I think the, there's a bit of FOMO going on there, of course, with the, the pump up of this card. So it has gone down a little bit, but still up there, $200. I don't know where it's going to plateau. It, it may go down a little bit and then go back up, of course, that is. But right now, this is the huge, huge climber from Pokemon 1.5 one making its way up and it's actually taken now the second place in the most expensive cards in Pokemon 151. Of course, Greninja holds the title currently right now from Twilight Masquerade, but Charizard is move, has moved up into second place. It's gone down a little bit, of course, but we may see this increase further in the future. It's again, another one of those products that you kind of want to watch right now because it's really up there in price and uh, I don't know if it's going to continue further in growth, if it's gonna have a little bit of a steady growth now as it's had that huge climb. Right now, we've seen a little bit of a decline, of course, that is going down to that $200 mark over the last few days, but it's definitely one to watch. Charizard from 151 having some crazy movement right now. And just to quickly look at some of the recent sales on this one for a PSA 10, we're looking at close to $1,000, $920, for this 151 Charizard, PSA 10 151 Charizard. There's this one sold for 1,047. Another one here sold for just under $1,000. So we're looking at around 950 to about $1,100, including shipping. You're looking at almost $1,200 for some of these. Uh, we do see a Venusaur in there as well. We're looking at around $400 for that Venusaur, of course. And these are Canadian prices. You can convert them, and you're looking at around six to 700, 750 US for for these cards for these PSA 10s. And this is just over the last few days for these Charizards. And if we have a quick look at what happened in the tail end of September, these cards were going for around $500 to $600 Canadian, that is, and you could see that there's been a three to $400 increase in this card over the last couple weeks. It's it's crazy. So PSA 10 Charizards going for around $1,000 currently uh, as we speak. And now just to quickly look at some of the other special illustration rares from 151, Blastoise EX also having some movement. Of course, not having uh, the same amount of movement of Charizard. I just wanna mention that Blastoise, out of the th big three is my favorite artwork. It, it just is. Blastoise hits harder for me than, than the Charizard. Uh, and I'm, I'm being I'm being honest when I say that, but just to focus on the, the price of, of it here. So we're up about 38% over the last few months. So this one also had a climb from $52 to $63 over the last few days or so, or the last week, I should say. So again, it is moving as well. So if the Charizard moves, we will see some movement with Blastoise and Venusaur. Not as much movement as the, as the, as the Charizard, of course, usually has, as he is the banger card but uh we are still seeing some movement so blastoise is also up 38 percent in the last three months going for around 63 dollars and looking at venusaur as well venusaur ex also having that movement also up around the same amount as blastoise up about 33.8 percent that is and it is currently going for 57 dollars and 75 cents this is a beautiful card as well i also like this one a little bit more than the charizard no bias there of course but blastoise is my favorite one out of the two so this one is up about 33 percent as i mentioned going for around 57 dollars a good opportunity to pick this one up as it's still relatively cheap and we did note the PSA 10 for this one was going for around $400 Canadian that is so Venusaur also moving up as well and now we'll quickly look at a couple of the illustration rares as they are also having some major movement as well the Charmander here has gone up 47% in the last three months up to $43 US it is actually a really nice card before we get into that it is actually a really nice card here uh, in comparison to some of the other illustration rares in the set it's just him hanging out in the cave there it's, it's a beautiful card I actually like it more more than the Charizard, even though the three of them are kind of a set. The Charmander is, is really nice. And as I was mentioning, this one has had a substantial climb here. We're looking at 47%. 
Uh, during the time of when the Charizard was climbing up, this one went from about $36 to that $43 mark. So about an $8 to $10 increase here. And we can see the last month here, we're looking at about a 33% increase that is. So Charmander also doing really well. The illustration rares appear to be doing really well. And another example of that is Bulbasaur from 151, as that one is also making some big movements up 28%, almost 30% as well to that $34 mark. So the Pokemon 151 cards are really starting to make movements, whether they're illustration rares or special illustration rares, specifically the Gen 1 beginners. Those are the ones that are making the most movement that is. I, I'm not going to touch on every single card from 151 today, but I just wanted to showcase that there has been a lot of movement in the single market for the 151, as well as some big movement in one of the sealed products that is, which is the 151 UPC. So that's a quick look at what's going on with Pokemon 151. Is there going to be a restock or a reprint? It's still kind of up in the air. Of course, the talk is that it should have a reprint. We're not 100% sure of that right now, but whatever it is, it's the movement of these cards as well as the uh, sealed products says maybe a little bit differently, specifically the UPC, because I don't think that one is going to get a reprint. If there is going to be a reprint, it's going to probably be the booster bundle or the ETB that is. But right now, I would be keeping an eye on the singles. I would not buy the Charizard. I may consider some of the other smaller cards because they're still at a relatively decent price. But I would suggest that looking at 151 in general, it's a set to be watching overall. The booster bundles are still at a decent price the etb is still somewhat respectable but with the reprint conversation happening it's something that you want to watch out for and let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this and if you're going to be buying any of these products right now or if there's any other insight that you may have that you'd like to share with the rest of the community and as always you guys are the greatest my name's trv and we'll catch you on the next video